Hello, this is Terry. Hello again, and welcome to my channel. This is an Orchid Today video, and today I am starting here. I'm going to walk through and show you how I've emptied the greenhouse. There is a table left, but for the most part, it's all empty, but I'll start here with my Shawanina. This is Docorilla, formerly uh, Dendrobium, and it is mounted. I've had this for probably, this is probably my third year having this and it's bloomed every year and it usually blooms earlier but you can see there's the buds starting they usually start at the beginning of when the new growth start and you can see there's a new growth right there coming up uh, this flower is very small but it is fragrant and it does flower and mass sort of um, not sequentially but the flowers kind of develop uh, slowly and over a sh over a you know slow period of time all over the plant. There's another bud right there. You can see it right there. So they start. They are tiny, but there are numerous ones, and they are fragrant. Um, can't really remember what the fragrance is right now because as I'm saying, making this video. I have, uh, I'm smelling some fragrance in here from somewhere. <laughs> I suppose it could be from outside. But anyway, this is, this is what's left in the greenhouse. Nothing down at this end except for my, my, my uh, paths and some of my, um, uh, you know, erangus, er my uh, angricoids is what I'm trying to spit out. I have a... Uh, little seedling uh, boba phylum here and of course as I've said my phalaenopsis which is what I am smelling at the moment will be out here um, this table will probably most of this stuff will go outside except for uh, there's a phalan there's some files here and there's a phalaenopsis somewhere there probably move them out as soon as um, that dendrobium blooms finisteri and then I've got these uh, epidendrums here that have buds on them and there's spikes so I will probably leave all these are you know that's a cooler growing intermediate this is my Forbesii that I just got from Equigenera um, of course these are all uh, Phalaenopsis paths my Gigantea my Tawate I'll probably move this outside um, I can just take it out now, actually. And I should have this out because I just see this epidendrum that I thought I had them all. But other than that, my Dimorphorchus does have a leaf coming, which is great. These are just Phalaenopsis. Phalaenopsis over here in paths. Over here, there are a few things that will probably go outside once they bloom. There's a spike there, um, but there are paths there. My bobos will stay in. And these are all file fowls, as you can see, bobos. Can't walk past Karen Lewis without staring and getting caught up. But I also have two spikes down there. That's actually there's flowers on that dendrobium, which is secundum. And then, of course, here is my Schwetzii that is ready to... Wow, I can smell that. I can smell her. You smell stinky. Okay, so here we are outside, and I can't stop this, stop and walk past this Trichogladus orchidea without showing you these buds and how they are developing. Down the stem, that's a new one. New growth, still coming out, still progressing. Here's the flowers over here, and here's another stem tucked in there. And you can see those flowers in there, the buds peeking out through there. There's another one in there. And here's that other Shoanarchus sh that I showed yesterday, Gemata. And then, of course, I've got my Encyclias out here that you all have been seeing for a while now. So, yeah, mostly everything out, 
except for that one table. Can add a fire on just to peel the floor. On. And I'm anxious to see those flowers on that socatum, which you know I just got. So I'll set that down. And I'm gonna have to move these and Graycombs back inside. Not inside, but I'm gonna move them back in the cage so that they can get a little bit more shade. When the sun goes over this way, the sun will be blasting over here. I'm gonna move that cart over here so that it will get a little more shade. But this one is going inside. But I can do that another time later. Let me show you this real quick. But it's closing up. That was my small world times Nodosa. And we'll just end right here with Epidendrum Pin Cove, which I showed you yesterday in that unboxing. Well, it wasn't an unboxing, but it was a what's in the box. But anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Enjoy your orchids. Bye.